All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items, man. Pushing this word, keeping it to the best of your ability, keep pushing. This week's GMS on the go, I'm going to call it Don't Stop Watching. Don't stop watching, brothers. Watching what? Watching the signs of the times, man. Keeping up with these prophecies. Don't get tired of watching, man. Don't get tired of watching out and waiting for your how about Shemiah shy, man. Okay? Got a whole lot of guys that are getting tired of watching. They're getting tired of being watchmen. We're supposed to be watchmen, man. We're supposed to be alerting the people, the nation of Israel, on the things that are happening. Throughout the four corners of the earth, we're supposed to be watchmen, right? We're supposed to be warning, right? Matter of fact, since I said that, let, let me get this first. We're supposed to be watching and warning. Watching and warning. Don't get tired of watching and don't get tired of warning. This is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. And the watchman standing on top of that castle, he can't get tired of watching, man. He can't get tired of looking, man, okay? Researching, looking up articles, studying, reading, you know, on the internet. That, that's what the watchmen of nowadays do, you know? Look at the current events, watch RT, watch BBC, different news stations like that, your local news. You want to see what's going on, man, okay? Don't stop watching. You, the God of the Bible has made you a watchman, right? Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 17, son of man, I have made thee a watchman. The God of the Bible made you a watchman. So you can't get tired of watching, man. The scriptures say um, you're going to be occupied in prophecies, man. That's all you're going to be doing is watching, man. Watching and warning. Watching and warning, right? Pretty much, you, you, you pretty much knowing everything that's going on right about now, pretty much. And if you don't know another brother, no, and there's so much happening. Of course, you ain't going to know everything because so much happening, but you're going to know something. You're going to be looking, man. You're going to be watching out for that thief. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. You know, give the nation of Israel warning from your how about Shemiah Rashad. Don't get tired of watching, man. Keep your eyes open, man. Look at what's going on. Once again, you got guys that tired of watching already. Ain't even been watching for that long. Tired of watching already. Tired of studying. Tired of watching the news. Tired of keeping up with current events. When the God of the Bible, you have by Shemel Shai, said he has made us watchmen. We didn't make ourselves watchmen. The Lord made us watchmen, man. So he look, he made us watchmen so we can watch. And constantly, you know what I'm saying? What we're watching, he wants us to put it on the video and tell our people about it. So you most definitely can't get tired. You have been taught how to be a watchman, right? This is 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned from. We learn how to be watchmen. Look, follow suit. We learned how to be watchmen from the watchmen that was before us and that are still watching. The head apostles and elders of Great Millstone and the men on down. They taught us how to be watchmen through the spirit of you have by Shemiah Shai, man. Now we're teaching other men how to be watchmen, right? It says continue in the things which thou hast learned. It didn't say stop. Stop in the things that thou hast learned. You got to continue in this thing. You got to constantly be a watchman to the house of Israel. No matter what, man. Once again, 2 Timothy chapter 2, chapter 3, Salakia verse 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned. The same thing that we learning and that we have learned, you got to continue in that. Don't start teaching something, some nonsense, man. Okay? You got to teach what you have learned, man. Okay? You got to continue in it. Don't get tired of teaching. Don't get tired of watching. Don't stop watching. 
It says, and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned from. And we know who we learned this truth from. We didn't get it on our own. We learned the truth from the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man. We didn't get this thing on our own. Guys act like they did. Guys act like they got this thing on their own, but we know they didn't. We know they didn't, man. St. Matthew, chapter 26, verse 41. It's written in red. Lord Yahweh Shai, who the ignorant called Jesus Christ, right? Watch and pray. So while you watching, while you looking, you praying at the same time. You never stop praying. Always pray. Don't stop watching. Don't stop praying. Don't stop warning. That's what I should have named the video through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Watch and pray. Don't get tired of watching. Look, that that ye enter not into temptation. Because while you're watching, you're going to be tempted with a whole lot of things, man. A whole lot of distractions going to come up. But you got to stay focused, man. You got to stay watching. You got to stay focused. You're going to always be tempted to do something evil, man. To do something wicked, man. You know? The spirit indeed is willing. But the flesh is weak. So that flesh don't want you to watch, man. The spirit wants you to watch. The spirit wants you to continue in the things which thou hast learned. But that flesh, and I'm saying, is weak, man. It wants you to it wants you to fall asleep. When the scripture says high time to wake out of sleep, the flesh wants you to go right back to sleep. The flesh don't want you to keep watching, man. The flesh want to party. And all this other nonsense. Nah, man. Nah. It says the spirit indeed is willing. But the flesh is weak. So it's a constant battle, man. You know? It's a constant battle. Between the spirit and the flesh, man. Always warring at each other, man. But at the same time, you got to fight through it. You got to fight through it. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time. Now... That now it is high time to wake out of sleep, man. Yeah, because it's time to get your watch on. You know? It's high time to wake out of sleep, man. You see what's going on? You warn the people, man. Don't act like you don't see what's going on. The majority of our people, they act like they don't see nothing that's going on. You got all these things going on throughout the four corners of the earth. But our people act like ain't nothing going on. But the scriptures tell us it's high time to wake out of sleep. First and foremost, come back to your nationality of knowing who you are. Come back to the names of your power, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, and get your watch on, man. We always say this through the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. The God of the Bible is not giving you all this information, this blessed word for you to just sit on it, man. Okay? You don't sit on information like this, man. It says, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. You got grievous wolves out there, man. You got to watch out for that. You know what I'm saying? You got them wolves in sheep's clothing, man. You got to watch out for that, most definitely. You got to watch out for these prophecies coming to pass. And you got to warn the people, man. The scriptures say, give them warning from me. The most I said, give them warning from me. So we got to warn the people, man. Can't just be sitting around acting like nothing ain't going on. You're going to wait till all hell break loose. Next thing you know, you, one guy told me that. He's going to wait till all hell break loose. Then he's going to go outside to his porch. You're going to you're gonna try to warn the people when all hell break loose. Why not warn the people now before all hell break loose, man? You want to get them prepared, man. The scriptures tell you that if you don't go warn the people, when they die, their blood is going to be on your hands. Remember that, guys out there. You're still sitting on the couch. You got this information and you're still sitting on the couch. When those people that you're supposed to be warning die, their blood is going to be on your hand because you're supposed to be out there. The God of the Bible made you a watchman too. No, look, look, let us not forget that. You know? And of course, people are going to hate you for warning. You know what I'm saying? For you being a watchman. But oh, oh well, man. We ain't think about that, man. Forget what these people think, man. Let's get this. Let's get Ephesians. Yeah, the main basis to this lesson is A, man. Continue to watch, man. Continue to watch. Continue to pray. Till you have about Shemi Shai. You don't want to be a watchman that didn't pay attention to what was going on, man. This is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore, saith, wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, 
and arise from the dead. And Hamashiach shall give thee light. Arise from that dead state that you're in, man. Not knowing who you is. You haven't been made a watchman, but you ain't that out there warning nobody. You still at home eating Fruit Loops, watching the videos, talking about con, con, con. Come on, man. Arise from that dead state, man. And go out there and be a watchman. And Hamashiach shall give thee life. Lord, Yahweh shall, shall give you life. Shall give you more understanding of the scriptures, right? See then that ye walk circumspectly. And a watchman, he's always walking circumspectly, man. He's on top of that castle, man. He's looking around, man. He's checking out everything, man. He's focused, right? Not as fools. Not as blockheads, meatballs, imbeciles, jackasses, so forth and so on. But as wise. Redeeming the times. That's why you got to constantly watch. Redeeming the times. Because the days are evil, man. Okay? The days are evil. We're living in bad times. That's why you got to be watching, man. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding. But understanding what the will of the Lord, Yahweh Bashmiyah Shai is, man. And the will of the Lord is for us to make our bodies a living sacrifice, man. Go out there and be a watchman, man. And warn the people. And I get it right quick. This is Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High. See, this is mercy being shown to us. This is compassion being shown to us. The God of the Bible made you a watchman. Look, it don't get no better than that, man. You know, the God of the Bible showed you mercy, showed you compassion, and still showing you, get off your couch. Don't stop watching. Get off your couch and go out there and warn the people. That you present your bodies a living sacrifice. And when we go out down the highways and byways, we do present our bodies a living sacrifice. Anything can happen to you out there, we know. But the God of the Bible says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. The Lord sacrificed himself for us, right? Holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. This is the least that we can do. We went off the God of the Bible brought us back into this glorious light. This is the least that we can do. Is to make our body a living sacrifice, man. That's the least that we can do, man. So you want to constantly watch, man. And I got one more and then I'm going to wrap it up. Don't stop watching. This is St. Luke chapter 21. Verse 36. Red letter. Lord Yahweh Shai speaking. Who they eagerly call Jesus Christ once again. St. Luke chapter 21 verse 36. Watch ye therefore. Don't stop watching, right? Watch ye therefore. And pray always. You're a watchman, right? So you're supposed to be watching what's going on and warning the people, man. It says, watch and pray. That ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. And a lot, a lot of things are coming down the pipeline. You got martial law, you got cannibalism, you got the famine, you got the race riot, you got the RFID chip going to be made mandatory to the whole world real soon. You want to be a kind of word. Then look, you got the ICBM missiles. You know what I'm saying? You got the chariots coming with the eagle they call UFOs blasting this place to hell and back, man. And destroying certain other parts of the earth. You know what I'm saying? You want to be a kind of word to escape all that, man. You got to have animals eating people. That's why you got to be watching, man. You got to go out there and warn the people, man. Because once again, if you don't go out there and warn the people, if you don't be a true watchman for your how by Shem Shai, the people, you got, you got a lot of blood on your hand, man. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy. You got to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. That ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. Because that day is going to be a dark, gloomy day, man. It's going to be dreadful, man. It's going to be terrifying. Don't stop watching. Lord willing, brethren, we're edified. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims, man. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Don't stop watching. Shalom.